check the screen for hints that will surely aid you on your journey. The adventurer's heart must never stop seeking. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Violet Hour. I'm Elysium and we are outside of the Temple of Time, uh, right where we left off in the last video. Uh, this video is going to be probably shorter than the last one. I think the last one was around 40 minutes. Uh, this one I'm hoping to be around 20 to 30. Uh, only because uh, I don't have an awful lot of time. Today is uh, a good friend of mine's birthday and I want to be able to spend a little bit of time with them uh, and share in... Oh. Ah! Ow. That hurt a lot. I had planned on climbing down, uh, but I didn't do that. So here we are. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> it's their birthday today and it's a big day for them. And um, I wanted to be able to spend some time and hang out with them and... Uh, so I don't have a lot of time, uh, unfortunately, to do recording. Uh, but uh, I'm sure that um, I will be able to make up for it in the future. Oh, I have arrows. I have a bow. Oh, yes, please. Hold on. I'm already so proficient at this. You think I can do it? I don't know if there's a drop to these. Interesting. Okay. Whoop. Oh, I can't get to them anyways. Okay. Oh, nice. I can put it back even though I tried to... Rush room. I remember you. Woo! This is how I kill myself. I go running off edges. Wonderful. Wonderful. Ah, oh, and we've made it to our first temple. Nope, we didn't. Not just yet. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Alright, well, I, I feel like this is definitely going to be a thing. Oh, and there was a proper way up, and I just didn't take it. Of course, I just climbed the side of the mountain for picks and giggles. <laughs> Two arrows to kill him. Interesting. Okay. Remember that, guys. Two arrows to kill him. So it's not really a good investment, but uh, maybe for other things. Interesting. Okay. The sun is already setting. What is this? Oh, it's a ruin zony. Okay. Um. I feel like there were so many things that I wanted to tell you guys and I can't even think of it now. Oh, uh, uh, if you guys hadn't, uh, seen the video, I, I officially hit a hundred subscribers, uh, and I can't stop talking about it. It is very exciting to me and 
Um, basically, I have been shouting it from the rooftops to anyone and everyone who's willing to listen. Um, yes, um, so that's really, really cool, and um, I promise I will uh, stop talking about it. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, it, it just is really cool uh, for me to hit that milestone. Um, it was kind of one of those things that I... Um, I kind of put it like as a bucket list for me um, to, to try and, and do the best I could with this channel and you know hitting a hundred subscribers uh, you know is a big deal uh, so yeah uh, I won't go into all of that um, basically I did a video and if you are interested in hearing about um, you know just a, a little bit more about my channel and what it means to me and everything along those lines, uh, go check that out. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, gosh, this temple is so pretty. Hello. So you made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Mm -hmm. Now then, extend your hand. Ultra hand. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Mm. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. Use ultra hand and receive the blessing from this shrine. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, okay, activate. I see. Huh. Okay. So let's see if there's something I can grab. <gasps> Oh, yeah, it's like the... What was it called in Breath of the Wild? I've forgotten already. B? There we go. Thank you for not making that too complicated for me, or I would be lost. Oh, I can attach? Ah! That was a mistake. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh... Oh, that was not the. Right. Right. Let's see if I can still make this work. No. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I have done. I have done a thing. All right. Oh, I can unstick. There we go. Okay, okay. 
Now we are cooking with fire. Right. Okay. We're gonna... Uh, sorry if I'm being super dumb about this. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah! that arrow back. That's how you do it. All right, all right. Dummy me figured it out. Oh my goodness. Sorry that took so long. I don't know what I'm doing, clearly. Um, that's gonna take quite a bit of getting used to it, I feel, but it's okay. Um. quite what I had in planned, but okay. Uh, let's... There we go. Hey. You son of a biscuit, okay. Try this again. Um, I don't want that, but I do want... I don't know why I keep wanting to do that. Um, let's see. Left. A. Right. Rotate. Which way do I want to rotate this? Somehow I feel like I did that wrong.
Yeah, buddy. Okay. I have a new plan. Perfect. I don't know if everybody else came up with the same thing. Uh, but this is what I think we're supposed to happen, okay? Perfect. Thank you. Right. I think that's good enough, right? Hey. All right. Right. Maybe that's for the best. Okay. Oh, there it is. All right. Well, it wasn't pretty, but it did. It got the job done, so I'm happy. Oh, okay. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil.
Light of Blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. All right. Okay. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. You did very well getting through that shrine and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Mm. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins. Then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Nintendo Switch offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Oh, press R. An A to pin. Whoop. Whoop. I love how they're like, you know, you should, uh, you should put pins in places that are of interest to you. I'm like, everywhere I look, there is something of interest. All right, let's see if I can't. God, it looks like I'm shaking, but I'm not, I swear. Like, what is that? Oh, there's another one. Okay. Interesting. Part of me wants to drop down to the very bottom just to see what's down there, but I'm afraid that I won't die and I won't get reset up here. And what will actually end up happening is, um, I will be stuck down there. And then I will have to figure out how to build my way back up here. And that will genuinely be horrible. All right. Clearly. Oops. 
Thank you for attaching. Don't you dare attach. Right. Rotate. Rotate, rotate. Perfect. I totally trust this. <clears throat> was this where I was before? Like, I was like, do you want to climb down? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> I do want apples, though. see something of absolute interest to me. Whoop. We're just gonna go down the back side here. Mushrooms. I'm sorry, sky shrooms. Not mushrooms. How dare I? Wandering into a bandit camp, I know it. Alright, that didn't hurt. Good. Good deal. What are you doing here? Oh. I see that they're still at work even now. We originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned task to this day. Hmm. The fact that, that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they perform it still, it is disquieting to me. Maker construct, fix your gaze forward, face it head on. Hmm, pardon me, I was absorbed in my woodcutting. Are you here for woodcutting too? Woodcutting. Woodcutting is the practice of chopping down trees to create logs. Logs can be combined to assemble platforms. You can also chop them down further to make wood. Lumber has many uses. That is why I come here daily to chop wood. And yet, I still find it difficult to chop them down in the intended direction. That is why you may have heard me muttering to myself, fix your gaze forward, face it head on. Ah, uh, I apologize. I have been rambling for some time. There is an axe I no longer need over there. It is yours to use if you want to do some woodcutting. Well, thank you very much. Um, I'm gonna drop that. Equip. All right. So let's let's try it out. Croak frond, a mysterious leaf that looks like it might be hiding something behind it. It has some medicinal value. Attach it to a stick and it can be used as a fan. Wood, a portable bundle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it. Wonderful. All right. I am troubled by the sight of the constructs we created. 
they still strive to fulfill their purpose, even when anyone who would benefit is gone. Mm. To see them toil away still, it grieves me. Interesting. I see a boat, which looks like a lot of fun, but also, um, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, yeah, it's right at that 30 minute mark. And I think that that is a perfect place for us to end this. And we can come back to this wood cutting, uh, expedition in the future. But Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry it had to be so short, but I'll try to make it up in the next video. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone. <laughs>